Hey, how's it going? Zach D Productions here, and I'm here for another one of these movies that I checked out recently videos. So I know it's been a while since I've done one of these, but we're just going to jump straight into it. So the first movie I want to go over here is called The Villainess, which is a Korean film, and if you are someone who likes the John Wick movies, I think you would really enjoy this because this movie definitely has a lot of similarities to the John Wick films, and I know that this movie has gotten comparisons to the John Wick films. And you can definitely tell that some scenes in this movie were definitely some inspiration for the third John Wick film, with some of the scenes at least, and yeah. It's uh, very similar to the John Wick films as far as the action goes, and yeah, it's a great action movie, and I especially like the introduction where it's all in first person. I thought that was really cool, and then it transitions over to a reveal of the main character, the lead role of the movie, and I would say that if you're someone who regularly doesn't watch Korean films or whatever, definitely give this movie a chance. Uh, you might change your mind. You might uh, have a desire to check out more because, yeah, this is definitely great. I really enjoyed it. Some great action and everything. So The Villainess, definitely a great one. Next, we have another Korean film called Emergency Declaration. Definitely a movie that'll have you on the edge of your seat. Um, definitely an intriguing story uh, that takes different twists and turns and you know, you expect one thing, but then another thing ends up happening, and yeah, I know it's not very descriptive of this movie, but, you know, I don't want to give too much away because it's definitely one of those movies that you have to experience for yourself. I would say give this movie a chance if you haven't seen it yet. Next, we have Resident Evil. Welcome to Raccoon City. This movie, I kind of have mixed feelings about. I would say that I definitely lean more towards liking it than disliking it, but I still do think that this movie has its problems. There are definitely some boring moments to the movie, some uh, snooze moments, you could say. I mean, I do dig a lot of the action. Uh, this movie has some horror and some action kind of combined, uh, which is basically what you always get with Resident Evil and... I mean, I liked it for what it is. I know that this is a reboot to the franchise. I know that the they want to, they want to stay more true to the video games. Now, I heard somewhere where this movie was basically a combination between Resident Evil 1 and 2, which is interesting. So, yeah, I do appreciate them kind of staying more true to the games uh this time around. So, yeah. Uh, I mean, of course this movie has um you know, some of the most memorable Resident Evil characters like Claire Redfield and Leon Kennedy and some others, of course. But yeah, I'd say it's pretty good. I mean, I wouldn't say that it's great or amazing or anything, but I think it's pretty good for what it is. Next, we have Bleeding Steel, which is a Jackie Chan movie. And now I know that some people complain about this movie uh, regarding the CGI, like it's Overlayered with CGI or whatever, and yeah, you can definitely see that in the movie for sure. A lot of sci fi stuff going on. I mean, it does have its cheesy moments too, but like with Resident Evil, I would say that I do lean more towards liking it than disliking it. I like the action in the movie and everything, and of course, Jackie Chan's performance in this movie I thought was pretty solid, so. Bleeding Steel, um, this is a movie that I've seen a couple times already, and yeah, not bad. Not bad. So next we have The Spy Who Loved Me, which is a James Bond movie, one of the Roger Moore films, and this is maybe my favorite of the Roger Moore era of James Bond, uh, and maybe just one of my favorite Bond films in general. I really enjoyed it when I saw it. I mean, it's definitely a classic. I especially really like the, uh, the car scene where, you know, all the bad guys are after Bond, you know, there's a motorcycle and then there's a motor vehicle and then a chopper and then he drives the car into the water. I mean, that whole scene was just really epic. And of course, you have the jaw as the villain in this movie who uh, seemed like a real challenge uh, to fight for Bond in this movie, you know, because he's a big guy and yeah. 
just all around a great Bond film. And if you haven't checked this one out, I'd say definitely check it out. So The Spy Who Loved Me. Next we have Transformers, the first one from 2007. This is another movie where I mostly like, but I do have my problems with it. And I'm sure I can speak for many people on that. Now, I'm not really sure the consensus on the Transformers films, but I would say that I enjoyed this film for what it was. I do like the action to it um, and everything like that. I mean, it's definitely, I mean, the movie is definitely late 2000s. I mean, the late 2000s was definitely an interesting time for action movies. And I say that because I feel like that this was an era of action movies where they really, tr they tried a little too hard, if you know what I mean. Tried too hard to be cool and edgy or whatever, you know, with, even with the soundtrack as well. Now you of course have Linkin Park and the soundtrack to the Transformers, which I think is really cool. But yeah, the first Transformers movie, I liked it, but I wouldn't say that I love it though. I've never been that in love with the Transformers movies, but I do like them though. I, I, I still do like them. And I even like this one. So Transformers. All right. So lastly here, we have Batman Beyond Return of the Joker, which is an animated film. And yeah, I would really love if we got a live action Batman Beyond, but unfortunately uh, we have yet to get one, but I really enjoyed Batman Beyond. Now I now, before the last time I seen this movie was probably like, I don't know, 20 plus years ago. It's been a long while since I've actually seen this movie. Um, it was a part of my childhood, you know, when I was really young. And yeah, I, I've always uh, really liked it. And I would say it's one of the best uh, Batman animated films. And if you have not seen this one, I'd highly recommend checking it out for sure. Definitely a classic. So there you go. Uh, that is a list of some movies that I watched recently. Let me know what you think. Have you seen any of these movies? Do you like them? What movies have you watched recently? Feel free to let me know. So on that note, thanks for watching and have a good one.